achievement so well at the governor's annual gala. We captured the princess and the mermaid and, well, <laughs> all of you in the process. And we finally got our hands on the serpent's eye. Which is a good thing, too, because the captain has been looking for that for ages. And we all know how the captain can get it. Wait, you don't know about the captain yet, do you? Well, let me warn you. There are those who would say, if you dare to pass his way, never again would you see the light of day. For he's ten feet tall, with a skull and eyeball, which will use in a fiery attack. And the ship's the witch, is it fact, is it fiction? No man can say, I'll use the guitar and tail. And then be the nasty entity of Captain Sebastian the Black. From this land, by the king's of he sails his own all the seas. So beware of the storm and the thunder crack. We'll be here sticking up on every back. And the scowl and the scar, how they are. He's captain Sebastian the Black. Now I hope you're all paying attention because this is a very long legend that I'm only saying it once. Now, no one knows his given name or from whence he came, but pirates and peasants also suppose. Was he born on the floor of the ocean? Or a thorn that was torn from a rose? Who knows? He's a thundering, thundering, nasty, and ghastly other. Strictest rules around. And who 